As we inch closer to the November election, fears are growing that this election will not just decide who sits in the Oval Office, but the very future of our democracy. At the center of many of those fears is Project 2025. You probably heard about this a bit here. It's a blueprint spearheaded by conservative think tank, the Heritage Foundation, for the next Republican president, who the foundation says will be former President Donald Trump. Among the proposals in the 900-page document, calling in the military to crack down on protests, replacing thousands of civil servants with political appointees, placing undocumented immigrants in internment camps, and greatly expanding the powers of the president. The proposals have received backlash, and the Trump campaign has tried to distance itself from the project, with its national press secretary telling Scripps News that Project 2025 does not speak for Donald Trump. Let me be very, very clear about this, because our campaign has since the beginning that outside organizations do not reflect official campaign strategy, personnel or policy. If you have not heard it from President Trump's mouth himself, uh, then that is not reflective of our campaign. However, it's worth noting that same staffer, Caroline Levitt, appeared on a video from the Heritage Foundation promoting Project 2025 and her involvement in it. And she's not the only one. Numerous former Trump officials and advisors have been connected to the project. Now, while Trump denies association with the project, many of his policy positions align closely with the project. Scripps News national correspondent Clayton Sandell joins us from Denver. I know you've been digging into this. What have you found? Hey, Lauren, good evening. Yeah, there is a lot to unpack in the Project 2025 plan that is a whopping 900 plus pages, as you mentioned. It is a sweeping plan for government reform that even Donald Trump says sometimes goes too far. Project 2025 is suddenly getting a lot of attention from Democrats sounding the alarm. It's a takeover agenda of the American government by Trump loyalists. Created by the Heritage Foundation, Project 2025 is a 900-plus page roadmap for transforming the government for the next conservative president. But after Heritage Foundation President Kevin Roberts said this, We are in the process of the second American revolution, which will remain bloodless if the left allows it to be. Former President Trump tried to distance himself, posting, I know nothing about Project 2025. I have no idea who is behind it. Despite that claim, watchdog groups say around 80% of Project 2025's contributors are former Trump staffers, including director Paul Dans, who served in the Office of Personnel Management. Former special assistant Spencer Chrétien is associate director. Peter Navarro, a former Trump official now in prison after a contempt of Congress conviction, wrote a chapter on trade policy. Former Acting Defense Secretary Christopher Miller writes a chapter on the Department of Defense. And Trump campaign spokeswoman Caroline Levitt appears in a Project 2025 training video. Assistant Press Secretary. These are a lot of key people uh, that were, had a lot of high-level positions in the Trump administration. In a statement, the Heritage Foundation says it does not speak for any candidate or campaign, saying... We are a coalition of more than 110 conservative groups advocating policy and personnel recommendations for the next conservative president. God bless you all. But Project 2025 and Trump's own Agenda 47 platform overlap in key areas. Both want to gut the civil service, firing career government employees in favor of more political appointees. Both would deport millions of undocumented immigrants and give the president more power over federal agencies. Project 2025 proposes eliminating the Department of Education. So does Trump. One other thing I'll be doing very early in the administration is closing up the Department of Education. On issues like reproductive rights, Project 2025 restrictions go further than Trump. But left-leaning advocacy groups say Project 2025 and Agenda 47 are two sides of the same coin. Some people could look at this plan and say, well, this is just the stuff that conservatives say all the time. What makes this different? is how they're going to undermine our democracy and gut our checks and balances to get that done. And Lauren, while the Heritage Foundation and Donald Trump have tried to put some distance between them in just a few days at the Republican National Convention in Milwaukee, the Heritage Foundation is one of the top sponsors. Lauren. Clayton Sandell for us. Clayton, thank you very much.